Barbell bench press. So let's have a look at the target muscle. The target muscle for the bench press pectoral is the pectoralis major. Basically it's a pushing movement. Pushing movement and people do it because they want to work their pectoralis major. Because it's a compound exercise, multi-joint movement pattern, you're going to get multiple muscles. So you can't isolate the pecs, therefore you're going to get a lot of other muscles involved. So let's have a look at the movement analysis first. When you look at the bench press, the joints are involved are uh, going to be your genohumeral joint on your shoulder. Your scapothoracic joint, your shoulder blade is going to be locked into place in a nice stable base because that's going to be the platform of the lift. It's like the base of the crane. Your scapula is the base of the crane where this would be the arm of your crane. So you need a nice stable platform so your arm of the crane can lift the heavier load. If you have an unstable platform, then the weight that the crane can lift is going to be compromised. So you might, what's important is to make sure your scapula or your scapula thoracic joint is in its right position. But from a movement point of view, you've got the glenohumeral joint and the elbow joint. On the way up, the glenohumeral joint is moving in what plane of movement? Forward. Transverse. That is horizontal, horizontal. flexion. Because that movement is the same as that movement. Mm -hmm. The only difference is one is the elbow is bending and flexing, or flexing and extending, the other one is not. So the shoulder joint on the up phase, or the concentric phase of the movement pattern, is horizontal flexion. The elbow is extending. So the muscles that are responsible for horizontal flexion are obviously the pectoralis major and the deltoid are the main ones. Out of those two, the prime mover or the major mover is normally the bigger one. So it's your pectoralis major. That doesn't mean that one fatigues first. Normally it's the smaller assistant mover that fatigues first because it's a smaller link in the chain. Because mm -hmm. you've got a chain with big links and small it's, uh, links. It's the smaller link. It's the smaller link that will break rather than the, the bigger link. So your deltoids will be the assistant mover, the weaker link. And the elbow extension, what muscles extend the elbow? Triceps brachii. Triceps brachii. So this exercise, from an active point of view, a concentric movement point of view, works your target muscle pectoralis major, which is the prime mover across the shoulder joint in the action of horizontal flexion, with the assistant movement being your deltoidus or your deltoid muscles. With the elbow being extending, that's going to be caused by your triceps brachii, which is the prime mover in elbow extension. So now that's the, the muscles we're looking at targeting. 